Welcome back to Allison Customs Project Car TV. I'm Jeff Allison and thank you for watching. Welcome back to Allison Customs Project Car TV. We're back in the help series again today. Today we're going to be once again working with our uh, voltage meter and we're going to be testing for continuity through a circuit and I've created a small circuit. I'll get the camera brought in so you can see it all um, and we're just going to test all the way through that circuit for continuity so that you can take that basic principle over to your car or your motorcycle and, uh, and find uh, electrical problems if you're having or suspecting one. Hi right, guys, so today we're gonna be test using our multimeter here and we're gonna be testing a circuit for continuity. So we have a problem, a uh, bad battery, or we have a circuit that every time we put a fuse in it, we pop the fuse. And so we don't wanna be adding, putting power on the system to test it via voltage like we did in the last uh, video. So we're now we're gonna be testing the same circuit, but we're gonna be testing it continuity to see if we can find the problem in the circuit. So right now, um, when I test continuity through the whole circuit here, the positive wire to the ground wire, I have infinite resistance. It's, it's um, the system has, is broken somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to test um, our ground wire first and make sure that we have a good ground to our whole circuit. Now it doesn't go through the fuse, it does go through this plug, we could test it if we had a, if we put this back tester on here, we could slide that in on the ground side. You can hear it beeping and it's going to near zero. So we know the ground is good through here. Um, we can then test it at our switch, which is this one. And again, it's beeping, so we've got good circuit. And we can test it at the light. Hey, we have a good ground all the way through our circuit. Now, if we switch over and we're gonna test it off the positive side, and we're gonna test I have a test port here that is just for just a demonstration. We have, a, we have no, no power through here. Well, this is on one side of the fuse and this is on the other side of the fuse. So let's check our fuse. Okay, we have good power at one side of our fuse. We go to the other side and we've got nothing. That tells me right then that I have a bad fuse. Well, that was, that was a problem but it wasn't the solution maybe. Maybe that we keep popping that fuse because there's a different problem. So we're gonna check, continue checking our circuit. We replace the fuse. We have power through there. Now the power comes through. It's gonna to go to this test port. It's gonna come up. We're gonna test the backside of our plug again. We have a good circuit there. I have an additional test port on this side. We have good power there. We're gonna to go to our switch. We have good power coming into the switch, we're going to go through our switch, we have good power, and in our demonstration we're assuming that the light bulb is burned out and when we would test this side we'd still have good power but the light bulb is burned out or something may have been shorted through there and that most likely would have had a short if we were losing, fu losing the fuse all the time but um, that's just the process for testing the continuity. What you're looking for is a single wire or one sided or a whole circuit has continuous power flow or ability to flow power through there. And the little multimeter with the batteries inside is sending a very low voltage uh, amount of power through this whole circuit to, uh, for the test feature. So next time we're going to be testing the same circuit for a short to ground which would have been causing that blown fuse. Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.